The second suspect in the Boston Marathon bombings is in custody this morning. He's in serious condition at an area hospital being treated for gunshot wounds he received after his arrest uh, last night. Before his arrest, though, last night he was injured. The first suspect, his brother, was killed by police earlier in the manhunt. But now the healing begins in Boston. People turned out to pay respects for the bombing victims. A memorial you see is growing at the finish line where two bombs exploded Monday. ABC 7 News reporter Ama Dates has been covering the manhunt in nearby Watertown, where fear and anger quickly turned to celebration. Celebration in the streets of Watertown after residents learned the second suspect in the Boston Marathon bombings had been caught. This is what we've been waiting for since Monday. So, and we finally got both of them and uh, we can rest tonight, you know. Brendan O'Rourke and Michaela Murphy spent the day sheltered in their apartment while an army of law enforcement hunted for 19-year-old Jahar Sarnayev. We've been up since 3.30. It's been scary. We've been on edge, but we were so thankful for all the police and all the first responders. We felt safe all day. Even as gunfire erupted nearby. Let me go. I was saying, no, it's people celebrating because they thought that the lockdown was over. Um, but then we found out it was actually gunfire. Um, and yeah, and then we heard it again later on, probably around 7 30 or 8 o'clock. Then news of the capture. That a suspect has been taken into custody yeah. alive. Yeah. I'm really happy that he was alive because I just want to know more. And I think everyone wants to know why, what were his intentions. So I'm really excited. And of course, we will know more in the days to come, but a lot of relief here in Watertown. Amadates, ABC 7 News. Well, in case you missed it, the 19-year-old suspect, Johar Sarnayev, was captured hiding in a boat behind a home in Watertown. We have a picture of the house, and you can see the boat in the back. The owner noticed blood on the boat. He also discovered that the tarp covering was ripped. He lifted it up, got a glimpse of Sarnayev, and immediately called police. Authorities quickly swarmed the area and sent up a helicopter with a heat-sensing camera. The camera did confirm that someone was indeed inside the boat. Police then sent in a robot to pull off the tarp. They say they tried to talk Sarnayev out of the boat, but he was unresponsive. We now know that's because of injuries he suffered during the gun battle that killed his 26-year-old brother Tamarlan late Thursday night. Authorities lobbed flashbang grenades before approaching Jahar and then took him into custody. New this morning, President Obama's weekly message is all about that drama that captivated the nation all week. This morning, the president heaps praise on the undaunted spirit of Bostonians, from the race volunteers who rushed in to help the bombing survivors, to the state and local police, and federal agents who tracked down the suspects in the face of such great danger. The president says Americans have proven they refuse to be terrorized. Through the days that would test even the sturdiest of souls, Boston's spirit remains undaunted. America's spirit remains undimmed. Our faith in each other, our love for this country, our common creed that cuts across whatever superficial differences we may have, that's what makes us strong. Republicans agree Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina calls the first responders amazing Americans who put their own lives on the line. Both addresses, by the way, were recorded before the second suspect was finally captured last night.